Welcome to Business Innovators Radio, featuring industry influencers and trendsetters sharing proven strategies to help you build a better life right now. Hello and welcome to Business Innovators Radio with me, Luana Ribeira. And with me today, I have Ian Lejoie, international best-selling author, international speaker and performance coach. And I am so, so excited to have him here today. It's been over a year now since we worked together on his book, Strategy Dimension, which has been a huge success, and he became an international best-selling author. Hi, Ian! Hi, Luana, my superstar. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy to have you on. I saw your I saw your post on Facebook saying and um, saying that it's been a year since your book went to number one bestseller, and I thought, wow, well that's that's gone quickly. And you've had some you've been absolutely killing it over the past year. I've been watching you. Yes, I travel uh, the world. I, I left Canada from I'm from Montreal, Canada, so I left for 203 days uh, last year for a world tour. Been to Asia, been to Africa, to Paris. Um, um, I released my book uh, November 30, 2018, and uh, using your support and your team, uh, three months later uh, I was in Morocco, and I wake up a morning and receive uh, from Amazon the logo that my book was bestseller. So I was really happy. That was something. That was a dream came, came true. Eh? Uh, um, this project for my book uh, has been uh, uh, more than a few years that I was working on this. Uh, starting French, starting English, and then um, I just did it, and it, it really uh, helped me for my my business coaching and for so many uh, opportunities that I generate using the book. Well, tell us more about that. What sort of opportunities has your book opened up? Like for anybody listening who might be thinking about writing their book, what um, what kind of results have you seen off the back of your book becoming an international bestseller? My, the, the first thing is everybody have a business card. And the, the book, I won't say it's my business card, but when I met, because I'm working with uh, executive, with CEOs uh, worldwide, uh, I'm working with prime minister, I'm working with uh, high level clients. And if you give a business card, it's good. But imagine if you give them a book and I can sign and dedicate the book to the, 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 the person, my uh, future clients, the impact is incredible. Um, uh, I, I was invited to, to do the news, uh, the, the, the TV news at eight o'clock in front of three million people, uh, just talking about my books, talking about the, the conference I was giving away. And for sure, the book, uh, people take me more for serious and it's, it's have a huge impact on your credibility and whatever you do, you're now an expert because you're an author. So, um, yeah, it's opened me so many doors. You've just absolutely smashed it. It's incredible. And yeah, that's really exciting about your interviews and, and bringing in your new clients and everything like that. So, you know, what was it that got you initially thinking about writing the book? What was your journey up to that point? I'm, I'm a business coach and, and, and one in my life, I, I had success and I want to I give a legacy for my kids, for people, because a book in hundred years from now, um, it will stay there. We we're still reading book from uh, many years ago, and the the book was something I can um, give away first for my clients, uh, first for people who just want to get uh, to know me, want to get more about my strategy, because the book is called Strategy Mansion. Uh, it's give the, the another dimension of the strategy, because we're gonna talk about later on my rule of success, but. If you don't have a strategy, my mentors always told me you will be part of someone else's strategy. So that's why uh, this word was so important to me. Uh, whatever, if I want, um, uh, if I want my kids do their uh, <laughs> uh, clean their room, uh, you're gonna need a, a strategy. If I want to go uh, with the, my girlfriend, something, I need a strategy. Same thing in business. So everything starts with a strategy, and that's why um, I, I bring to uh, to the world with uh, this book. 
That's so true, isn't it? So it's not even just for business, like it's all transferable into everyday life. I um, love that. Yeah, it's it's for life and business. Um, if you don't if you don't have a strategy, the strategy is gonna it's just gonna help you to go uh, faster to, to to the goal to the objective. So depending your goal, the strategy is just the key to uh, go faster to reach that goal. Amazing, and we are going to be going into the rule of success. So your three steps, and I, I love, love this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love this because I wrote it on the book. Yeah, I, I love it because it's really easy for all people listening. Guys, just uh, take a piece of paper and write down those uh, three words. If you can just remember uh, those three words and apply it to your life and your business, I guarantee you're going to have more success. And most of the time, we're going to forget about one word. So the, the first word is super easy. It's the three letters. You need to have fun. Entrepreneurs is not always that fun. Doing uh, pick up the phone and do a cold call is not that fun, but the result is gonna be fun. So if you don't have fun, um, you're missing something because life is short, and you should have fun every day. Um, this is the, the the first ingredient of the uh, of the, the the equation of success. Um, the second part for sure, it's strategy. Um, you need fun, you need a strategy, but the most important part uh, is Tony Robbins saying, all the, those top leaders saying all the time, uh, Tony Robbins saying massive action. So what I did, it's I just add triple S at the end of action. So it's action with SSS uh, because you need a lot of action, a fun, and a strategy. If you only do action and strategy and it's not fun, you're missing something. If you're only having fun and a lot of action, uh, without a strategy, you can uh, you will turn around. So if you add all of them, I guarantee you will be successful. It's a result. It's not because you add those those things. It's not about money. It's about um, everything in your life that's gonna really um, change when you're gonna apply those uh, three three simple words. There we go. Three words can be absolutely life changing. And I remember when I first read your book i was so happy that fun was at number one because if something is life's too short isn't it to be stuck doing things that well that aren't fun so let me ask you this ian what would you say to somebody who was doing something say their business is something that that they're not getting much fun out of they're not getting much joy but they are making money from it and it is becoming successful. What would you, and so then it's harder for them to break away from doing something they don't find fun because they're getting, you know, it's making them money. What would you say to somebody in that situation? Hey, we, we are entrepreneurs and sometimes we forget about money. Uh, yes, you can just be an entrepreneur, having fun, doing a lot of action strategy, don't make money. Uh, sorry, but um, the bank gonna call you every month and your, your car payment as well. So yes, you need to make money. That that's something that uh, in North America sometimes we're afraid to talk about. Uh, when you make money, you won't be uh, uh, happy. Uh, it, it's it's not that false, not that true. Um, but the, the major point, I'm working with executive, I'm working with CEOs, I'm working with entrepreneurs as well, with startup because I'm mentor and I help uh, young kids or a uh, startup. Um, once something you don't like it, if you're a CEO, you can delegate. You can uh, give this task to somebody else who have more fun. Use your best asset. Use your best team. Um, I'm not successful alone. Uh, for example, I, I, I use your services to uh, to those things. I was not the best guy to uh, uh, write down everything. So now I'm having fun because I got the result. I use a strategy. And when you call me, I put my mm -hmm. the action that uh, I said yes to your, your what you do. And now I'm having fun. So was it fun writing the book? Uh, honestly, yes or no. It was uh, stressful because I have a deadline. It was a lot of stuff. And they, uh, I'm a perfectionist. So I want to have like the best stuff out there. So it was not that fun. Uh, I worked a lot uh, to, to do this. But now I, mean, I, I have so much fun signing books giving a book away when I'm doing world tour, when I go to university in Africa, I give the book to a young uh, startup 
or young entrepreneurs. And this is the fun. So um, if you turn around the question, sometimes it's not about the money. It's about uh, the impact or what's going to create later on on the road. So sometimes we just looking too close. Keep, keep an eyes open on, uh, on the path of success. It's not one step. It's a, it's a journey. It's a marathon. So that's a bit my advice. Really good advice. Really good advice. So how would you make something fun if it's a really boring task? So I'm going to give you an example. <laughs> I hate doing my end of year accounts. So <laughs> something I do is when I'm doing my accounts is I will put on loud music and I'll, I'll literally turn it into a party. So <laughs> that's something sure. that I do to make a boring task fun. What would you suggest <clears throat> if there's something somebody has to do but they find it boring and they want to make it fun. What would you suggest? I think that the fun, the fun part is most of the time is one step away uh, from your, your head in between your left and your right ear. Uh, it's a mindset. Uh, yes, it's not fun to do that content. Yes, there's stuff. When I go to the gym, I don't really like to, to wake up at 5 a.m. To, to hit uh, the treadmill or just uh, lift some weight. But the result is going to be fun. So same thing in business. We don't always do... Um, the thing we do, we, you can outsource your own success. So yes, you can hire sometime uh, an accountant to do uh, your thing, but you're gonna be, uh, you're gonna need to be there to supervise, to give information. You can't do everything uh, alone. So the fun part sometimes is gonna be after. If if you save money or you don't pay too much uh, taxes, you, this is gonna be fun in, in your wallet. So <laughs> it's, it's, love that. Fun is a mindset, that is so true. Right, so going on to the actions, how do they know what actions to take? D depending the, the, the strategy, uh, what we do, uh, and for, for everybody listening right now, uh, I presume you all have, have, um, have a GPS in your, uh, your cell phone. So when, when you go, you hit the road, you want to hit a destination, you're going to put uh, enter the address in the GPS. Same thing with your business. Uh, you have a GPS, can be milestone for money, can be for other stuff, but you need to get your destination. And when you get your strategy to reach a destination faster, the action will be uh, take the wheel and follow the GPS. So d depending your your business, uh, you need to uh, a result. And if, if it's uh, money, but you need, if you want to make $1 million revenue per year, it's $19,230.77 per week. So that's it. You need to uh, hit these numbers. Um, it's quite simple sometimes, but we're going to say, oh, maybe next week I will do this. Maybe next, uh, or this is going to have some excuses. So just follow uh, your strategy and go until it's done. That's it. Nice. Yep, love it. What do you think, or what have you experienced to be the biggest challenge, like either for yourself or for your clients? What's been the biggest challenge that comes up and how do they overcome that challenge? That's a good question because I think most of the time we are the biggest challenge uh, of ourselves. We are. We, th we decide if we wake up at, uh, at 5 a.m. or 7 or 11 every morning. So we are our own um, challenges. So after that, um, you need to define the, we, we are a lot, uh, often talking about the why. The why are you here? Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? And why not doing this thing? So sometimes it's not the why, it's the why not. So I think to, to answer is um, d define your why. Um, when I sit down for my computer for a few months and um, I decide to write a book, I, I already know what was my goal, that what was my uh, my why, why I was doing this. And when you got this clear, uh, you just need to do it and e execute it until it's done, and that's it. And you need sometimes as well just add some milestone. Um, me, I know that I was uh, living away for a world tour, so I know that November 30, 2018 was my book release. 
So I knew it that I have to be done uh, five days before to go to the printer to finalize everything and to have it done. So that that was my 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 strategy to make it happen. Fantastic, and I can't possibly be chatting to you today without asking you about your world tour. Tell us about that. <laughs> it was a, a life changing. I've been uh, December second, two thousand eighteen. Decide to change my my life. I book a one way ticket to uh, Bangkok, Thailand. So spend uh, five weeks over there. Um, then. Um, I moved to Madagascar, is the uh, the biggest island uh, underneath uh, Africa. So I've been there for another five weeks to uh, do some coaching over there. I've had a client that we help them to launch a new business out there. i um, been to uh, Paris for a um, conference. Been to Morocco, uh, same thing for uh, other conference. Been to um, Ivory Coast, where I did like another uh, huge conference. I went to uh, school, to university to give a motivation speak to um, young entrepreneurs over there. It was fantastic. And then the phone ring and they asked me to go to uh, Libreville is in Gabon. So I spent another two months uh, over there, um, been on TV, been on radio, uh, launched my academy on uh, leadership and performance. So did some conference over there. It was uh, amazing and came back uh, in June in Canada and I'm, uh, Planning right now to my next world tour for 2019-20. That's uh, starting next week. So in the Caribbean, then going to Africa after. So life bring me where I need to go. And I'm so excited and so happy to uh, doing what I love every day. Oh, what an adventure. What an adventure. And throughout all of that time, traveling from place to place, you were still absolutely smashing it with your business and it, it was really, really awesome to see, really exciting. Uh, when did you say you go on your next world tour? Uh, in one week from now, in 10 days from now. Um, oh wow, uh, and where's your first stop? I will be in the Caribbean in St. Martin. Uh, it's a oh, gorgeous I island. Martin. Oh, it's, I will... it is spectacular. Yes, I've been there for like six weeks. I got the uh, clients over there. I'm going to work as well on my next book and other, uh, other big stuff. So yes, uh, I, I love it because when you travel, you can, uh, you can um, do uh, having fun. <laughs> Which is a lot of strategy and action uh, with my clients and for myself. And I have one, one life. So let's uh, travel the world. I think it's the best, uh, it's the best thing I can discover. Absolutely. And you just touched on something there that I couldn't possibly let go. Tell us about your next book. What can you tell us about that? Um, there's one book almost that is done. It's called Africa Telling. So this one's going to be uh, released. Uh, it's already uh, written. So this one's going to be um, uh, launched in 2020. But my next book... Um, <laughs> you, you will one of, one of the first to know, it's called... It's gonna call, well, entrepreneurs, um, as an entrepreneur, I, I, I am an entrepreneur and I become a well entrepreneur by traveling and meeting all those entrepreneurs worldwide. And I want to give advice. I want to give you a trick because entrepreneurs, we are the same kind. Whenever you speak French, Spanish, English, or, or whatever, entrepreneurs is a lifestyle. It's a way of live. And I, I was, uh, I found um, a little bit sad that entrepreneurs are not connected uh, because we are different species. And we need to have some tip and advice. So the next book is going to call One Entrepreneurs to give advice, to give tip how to do business when you go to a foreign country, when you don't speak mm -hmm. the first language, um, how to make business. Because the first time I get paid uh, in African dollar uh, was uh, kind of uh, weird, the first time for me. And I said, if I can, everybody can. Uh, did I did it the first day uh, I've been to Africa? No. But I use some strategy, and uh, as I do here in Montreal, or I do in the States, or I do uh, worldwide, is the same. So one entrepreneur is going to be advice, tip, um, re really a lot of big strategy that I was using how to do networking, how to use social media. Social media, I'm using a lot of LinkedIn for all of you guys who are listening. Uh, Ian Lajoie, performance coach, add me on LinkedIn. Um, I do French, English video as well. 
and this uh, social media helped me, uh, opened me so much door. You can imagine, I did a, um, a video selfie in Marrakech, in Morocco, and I was going to Abidjan in very close, and I know only one person, the people was uh, waiting for me at the airport, and I just asked the network, hey guys, I'm going to very close, I'm looking for CEOs, for executives, or people who have a, those kind of business, and if you can help me to put me uh, in contact, and when I, I land, six hours later, I got 25 names. So my, my guest was waiting for me over there, say, well, how do you do all, all this business? But I'm using social media, I'm using LinkedIn family, I'm losing uh, people I know, and that's why this is one uh, easy, free tip that you can just add to your practice and make uh, generate revenue using this strategy. Incredible, incredible. So, you know, you're not just going and traveling and having all these adventures, but you're actually making it work for, for your business as well. And, you know, you're, you're making all of these new connections and everything like that. It's fantastic. Right. Ian, do you know what time it is? It is time yes. for... <laughs> <laughs> A little section of the show that I call Get In The Bin. And this is where you get to choose one business practice or idea. And you get to dispose of it right here, right now. You get to throw it in the bin and it's gone. What's it to be? I, I love your, I love your, your concept. Um... I will reinforce it after because it's a project I was doing before and I switch it. So for all the selling, sell for sale, I want to put it in the bin and, and replace it for H to H, human to human. Everybody was selling stuff. Uh. I'm a real estate. I'm a business coach. I want to sell you my service, buy my stuff, buy Ian Lajoie. Not anymore. And this is so much a new thing, guys, you need to apply win-win and human to human that's something that we should do we forget because we have business we have bill to pay so for the sale who's only like is not a win no win situation uh, this one for sure throw it away and i, I don't want to uh, see it anymore ian it's done it's gone forevermore <laughs> <laughs> fantastic fantastic so just before we finish off, any final words for our listeners? Yeah, it's remember the, those three simple words, fun, strategy, action, going to bring you a result. Um, get mentor, get mentorship, listen podcast, get the best uh, in the industry out there, go on YouTube. There's a lot of uh, professional uh, out there for free. I'm listening, I'm uh, reading a lot. So for if you're not reading it every day, you're missing something. There's so much value in a book. Um, if you want to be better in sell, read a top in sell. If you want to be uh, whatever you're looking, uh, there's a book, there's audio book, there's a video now on YouTube. So get education because if you don't learn, you can earn. So best thing, get the best. Learn every day and for sure one day will come. You will be successful. Easy like that. There's no um, fast track to uh, success this is the uh, road to success so true so so true never stop learning and just keep going absolutely so how can people find out more about you for sure you guys easy ian ian lajoie.com my website linkedin is uh, the place i am ian lajoie performance coach yes for sure instagram ian lajoie underscore uh, you got my uh, Facebook, Ian Lajoie, Perso, because I got two accounts. So this is my personal account, guys. So P-E-R-S-O for personal. And for sure as well, um, YouTube, you can subscribe to my channel. I uh, try to release uh, new videos, so uh, new stuff coming a lot. And for sure, Amazon um, for North America, uh, Ian Lajoie, Strategy Mansion is out there. Fantastic. So there we go. Go and follow Ian Lajoie to catch up with everything that he's up to. And if you want to inject 
some fun action and strategy into your business, you know where to go. Ian, you've been amazing. Thank you so much for coming on. Massive well done for all of your success and just continue to smash it because I love to see it. And for all our listeners, thank you for listening. Always remember, you weren't born to be ordinary. You were born to shine. Thanks for listening to Business Innovators Radio. To hear all episodes featuring leading industry influencers and trendsetters, visit us online at businessinnovatorsradio.com today.